Hey everybody, welcome to Truth Be Told. I pray that you are doing well. All is well in my house. Uh, for, me and the, for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. I just wanted to come to you today just to bless you. Uh, I believe in the power of prayer. I believe that opening your mouth and saying what God says aligns us with his power. That's what the word of God says. And I believe the word of God. Somebody told me the other day that I have childlike faith. Well, oh, nay. Yes, I do. Because my goodness, I've had too much experiences with God to know to know better, to know that he loves me, to know that, that I can trust him with my life, with my very life, because he gave his life so that I would live my life to the fullest. So I want to talk to you today. I pray that this message blesses you. I pray that you are open to receive it, that you do not allow the enemy to come and steal the seeds of the word of God that are, that are being planted here today. And I pray that, they're, they, that they fall on fertile ground and that they bear much fruit in your life in the glorious name of Jesus. I keep telling people, what good is an apple tree if it don't produce any apples? Your life is supposed to have fruit the spiritual fruit of life that's that's peace and joy and love you know that the the fruits of the spirit they, god said the, those are the, those are gifts and we should we should exhibit them in our lives and if we're not we need to ask ourselves why and a lot of it has to do with our attitude so i just want to read to you something that i think that we all tend to forget right when we struggle in life and we're dealing with anxiety and worry right and remember that God has not given us a, a spirit of fear, right? Think about what God has already done in your life. What he's already done. Forget about what he's going to do. What he's already done. His faithfulness in our lives. Think about the power of his love. See, it says, I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. That's in Psalm 77, 11. The reason I bring this up is because the reason why I am the way I am, I can only attest to how I am in my relationship with God. And maybe therefore you can see it'll parallel and you can kind of gauge where you are, you know. And if you want to be closer, then God is always there. You bring yourself, you walk towards him, you knock, the door will be answered. You seek and you will find. So remember, we have a part to play. We keep thinking and asking God for things he's already given us power to fix in our own lives. And that's why I am here to just try to... Uh, to bring knowledge, to bring awareness of this fact, because sometimes we don't know that we're doing something wrong. We keep asking God for something he's already given us. I use this example a lot. You know, someone tells me, take me to the store, take me to the store, take me to the store. And I look at them, I'm like, well, don't you have a license? Yeah. I said, well, I gave you the keys to my car. I gave you money. You have a license. So you're able, capable, and you have the means to go to the store. Why do you keep asking me to take you to the store? That's an example of how we are when it comes to the things of God. We keep asking God to do something, to fix something that we have the power to do ourselves by changing the way we think. But we don't want to do it. We don't want to do our part. See, God will not do our part. Not that he can't, but he will not do our part because that's our part. And we can't do God's part. And that's our problem. We be trying to do God's part. <laughs> have you figured it out? You can't do what God does. He's God, baby. So I pray that uh, we remember, we take some time and just think about, I'm going to give you just one thing that he's done for me. He's given me eternal salvation. Ooh, that's enough for me right there. I live my life based on that foundation that no matter what happens on this earth, which is a temporary situation, I am a citizen of heaven. I got a kingdom perspective and I am here to represent God. It has nothing to do with me. When you learn that your life is going to be free to start walking into the blessings of God. So why did you make that choice today, honey? Give up whatever it is you're worrying about cast your cares on God because he loves you he's proven beyond a shadow of doubt that he loves you and I pray that you start to trust in him above everything else don't look at your circumstances look at the power of God in your life honey release it today in the name of Jesus glory hallelujah I am on oh hallelujah parkway honey and blessed boulevard where you at holla